Hi everybody, it's Fiona here again, live on a Wednesday evening, six o'clock UK time. And uh, sorry, my computer's just flashing up things here now in front of me. Um, so this is part two of the poetry of painting. And um, it's just a light-hearted look at the connections between paintings and poetry. And this week I'm going to be talking a little bit about songs and poetry and painting as well, because um, there have been lots of songs written about artists and paintings. So welcome everybody, lovely to see you on here. And I just hope you're going to enjoy it. Please do put me some comments, ask me some questions and um, you know do interact it'll be lovely and if anybody would like to send me any poems for next week to be read out either um, anonymous or credited that's absolutely fine um, I would really love that to read out your poems either ones you've written or just favorite poems that you've come across so um, anyway so let's just get started um, what I'm going to do is to actually talk about one of my paintings tonight and how the poetry uh, evolves with that painting for me. Um, this is one that was painted in the studio, but from photographs and sketches from on site. And um, it, the things that sort of resonate with me for the, the poetry here is things like when I was there, the the site, obviously the, the trees, the bark, the um, the smells, the the textures of the of the foliage and the trees and the just the feeling of it, the the breeze, the sun, the the sounds of the birds in the trees, and that's to me that's the poetry, visual, audible. Um, smells um, of, of the experience when I was there. That's what constitutes some of the poetry for this painting. And that's what I try and recreate and remember and recreate when I'm in the studio actually doing the painting. So um, there we are. That's that's what I enjoy about the poetry of my paintings. This, um, this is on my website, this one. It's called Beautiful Birches. Um, silver birches here with their amazing texture of the bark and it is for sale if anybody would like to go on and buy it. Um, so welcome to people that are just joining in. Um, I have got a newsletter by the way, a VIP newsletter. So if anybody would like to sign up to my newsletter on my website, they will see new works before they appear on social media, get invitations to events, and you can do that on my website. I'll put a link in the comments below. There's also a link to my website on my Facebook page. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Julian. Lovely to see you on here. Um, Bobby is asking whether I am inspired by poetry to create specific paintings. Uh, yes, I am. And do you know, I just had the most fantastic experience this week after last week's live because a friend of mine was watching here on replay and uh, her name's Liz Chatterton. She's a fantastic artist and she wouldn't normally, she tells me, um, be one for reading poetry. But having heard my um, life from last week, she came across a poem when she was looking for an art quote and took the time to read it. And from that reading of that poetry she created the most amazing and beautiful artwork on which she actually hand wrote the poem as well it's just an amazing piece of work so if you want to take a look on facebook her name is liz chatterton and um, i say she's she's an artist well worth looking at and and checking out her work she's so lovely um so yes, poems can trigger um, an artwork to be painted, um, not just by myself, but other people, which is absolutely fantastic. So um, what poem has inspired me the most? Um, I wonder, I'm not sure if I can think of any particular one at the moment, Bobby, 
Um, I just I do like poetry, but certain poetry. I'm I'm not into so much of some of the modern poetry that it doesn't seem to have any structure. I, I do quite like rhyming poetry as well, um, but it doesn't have to rhyme for me to enjoy it. So I'm not sure I've got a particular favourite at the moment. Oh, Chris saying hello, had some problems logging on. Well, I'm glad you've joined us now, Chris. Thanks very much indeed. Lovely to see you on here. Um, so tonight I thought we might just discuss songs and poetry and songs that are about paintings. So um, most songs are rhyming or to a degree they have rhyming uh, lyrics in them. And one that I was going to start with was, if a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? Now, that to me speaks of the scourge of the portrait artist, you know, trying to get actually capture something of that person or, you know, the spirit and the uh, feeling of that person in your in in a portrait which I have done in the past I'm concentrating more on my landscapes this year which I just so enjoy doing and that that song was made famous by Frank Sinatra and has also been covered by quite a few other artists over the years as well such as um, the group Bread and and a few others um, Chris says when he looks at my paintings it reminds him of the song Trees which is a new one to me, so I'll have to look that up. Thanks, Chris. Um, I shall investigate that one and have a listen. So, um, but the um, the one, if a pe picture paints a thousand words, that was actually a play, I believe, on the old English saying uh, that a picture is worth a thousand words, which means that um, sometimes a complex and sometimes uh, multiple ideas can be conveyed just by a single still picture, um, a single image, which is you know, amazing when we've got so many words in the English language that you can convey more effectively something like that, the essence of it um, in a picture rather than just a mere verbal description. So I found that really interesting as well. So the loads of songs that come to mind, Vincent by Don McLean, about Vincent van Gogh, there was Andy Warhol by David Bowie, Pablo Picasso by The Modern Lovers, um, Magritte has had a couple of songs written about him, one by John Cale, and then Rennie and George Magritte with their dog after the war, which is one of the longest painting uh, song titles I've heard, that was Paul Simon, Art for Art's Sake by 10cc, another um, good song there, Max Ernst by Mission of Burma and um, there's just so many more. There's another one that um, I was trying to think of which has a, such a long title it's amazing and then the Mona Lisa Brad Paisley and I believe also Lady Gaga did a song by um, called about the Mona Lisa. Got Matchstick Men and Matchstick Cats and Dogs by Brian and Michael that was about L.S. Lowry. I just wonder if anybody might one day ever do a song about my paintings. But, um, oh, Chris says, what about uh, if I had a talking picture of you? Again, yeah, um, not quite a painting, more a film, I guess, but it's still artwork. Um, we've even got things like Ode to Banksy, which is a little bit more recent, 2012. Um, there's painting by Chagall, uh, Nighthawk by um, Nighthawk postcards actually by Tom Waits, which was about the Edward Hopper painting Nighthawks. So um, and another a really interesting one as well, Painter Man by the Creation, and that was also covered by other acts such as Boney M. And supposedly. This one was about the original writer's stage act, and they were Kenny Pickett and um, Eddie Phillips, where Pickett would go on stage and paint a canvas on the stage during the song. And often, or occasionally, he would even burn that at the end of the performance. So that was a really um, different sort of thing. Um, they, they evidently they did this because they 
they just because they felt like it and they felt that their music was visual as much as it was musical so um, some fun sort of facts there and information about paintings um, then uh, any more questions yet no more at the moment that I can see but I've got a, a short and amusing little poem that in fact that was written by Chris for me which he sent me um, and that one is here's my latest painting it's quiet and serene I painted it all in red because I've run right out of green I really like that it's just such fun um, and that, that could actually um, relate to this painting which has very little green in it which was made from um, blues and yellows not from a green in a tube but most of it is more the golds and russets of autumn and the leaves there resting on the floor ready to rot down into um, leaf mould so but just a reminder if you'd like to send me any of your po poems or anything you've written or read if you'd like to join in next week, please do let me know. It'd be lovely to have you interacting on here. And um, just a reminder to join in on my VIP mailing list, which will be available from uh, the link on there in the comments, or it's on my website as well, if you'd like to join on that one. So that'd be lovely. So any more comments at the moment? Anybody got any questions? Um, oh, sorry, Julian, my comments hadn't scrolled down. So Julian used to be a singer. And as he says, most songs are based on poetry. So he's been spending many hours trying to get the meaning of the poem so that he could actually perform the song better, which is a, a lovely way to think about poetry and, and art. Um, Chris has another one, Portrait of My Love, another song which may have been a Frank Sinatra song, he thinks. Um, Bobby has noticed that I work in multiple mediums, oil with brush or knife, pencil and coloured pencil, and asks, do certain subjects draw me to particular mediums? Um, I think they do, yes. Uh, my favourite medium being oils and using a knife to, to paint. Oh, Chris, Bobby says your poem is excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and I think I think I find it easiest to express my my thoughts, my memories, my feelings with oils rather than anything else because I think they're more immediate for me. I can actually just progress the painting quick more quickly and and change if I need to. Whereas with pencil and coloured pencil. It's it's a more it's a slower medium. It's a more time consuming medium, and I don't feel there's the same flexibility to change as I go and um, to rapidly express what I'm feeling about a subject. So I think yes, definitely oil with knife followed by oil, oil with brush, um, and then maybe coloured pencil after that is my order of preference. Uh, Chris is asking, do I listen to music when I paint? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Sorry, that's that's not very decisive, is it? But I think some subjects lend themselves to music. Like Mozart is supposed to be um, mentally stimulating and um, increase, you know, the way that you you have thoughts and feelings about things as you as you paint or as you're working in general um, but so Chris saying thank you to Bobby for the praise of his poem I'm sure I'll have a lot more where that came from so fingers crossed and I do have some poems that I've written myself which is um, be a new thing for me putting those out publicly my paintings I'm used to showing publicly now but um, and in fact about one that I, um, Solace of the Trees, I've got a, a poem that I wrote about that one. So next week I'm planning to unveil that po poem to you, if you can unveil a poem or give it its first airing, its first reading. So do come back next week. And as I say, if you'd like to contribute anything, 
uh, that would be lovely. Thanks very much tonight to Bobby, Julian and Chris for all putting comments in there. And if anybody would like to put comments in when I post the um, live onto Facebook in a while, please do be lovely to hear what you've got to say and your reactions to the live. And hopefully this will just grow each week into something a little bit more. Um, you know, it depends where it takes us. I don't know where it's actually going to go at the moment, but any contributions be more than welcome. Be lovely to have you on the call. Um, and even if you'd like to join me on screen sometime. Um, oh, looks like we've got somebody else joined on as well. I can't see a name, but welcome to you. Um, please do watch the replay when this is finished. It'd be lovely for you to give me some feedback and take a look at my website www.fionahooper.com and uh, if you can give me any feedback on that as well that'd be lovely i've got quite a lot of paintings on there that are for sale and for this one that i was talking about earlier i'll also post the link in case anybody would like to buy it so the link will be there in the comments so thanks very much everybody and I look forward to seeing you again next week, if not before. So, any are there any more comments? Oh, Julian, sea fever. I must go down to the sea again. Yeah, he, he thinks of that if he's out. But Julian, I believe, has the good fortune to live on the coast, um, which I would, uh, I would really love to live on the coast someday. So we'll make that happen one day. Um, so... Thank you ever so much, everybody, for listening in. And don't forget, look in the comments to sign up to my VIP mailing list. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care now. Oh, any more? Oh, Chris has got, sorry. Chris has asked whether I found any specific sounds stimulate, to me, stimulate me to paint, such as the sounds of the sea. Um, yes, yeah. and. Um, the sounds of nature, basically, whether it's the sea with the waves coming in onto the shingle or crashing against the rocks or bird song in, in woods and forests. Um, you know, just the little the little noises out there of insects and wildlife. Um, yeah, just all those sort of things. I just love trying to convey the feelings of nature and relaxation and chilling out in my paintings so difficult if i could get paintings that had smell and sound with them as well that would be amazing but as it is i have to just try and convey that in um, paint on canvas so thanks everybody very much for listening in and i'll see you again soon take care bye